Hello students, a warm welcome to you all in today's channel. Uh, today's video is for class 3rd and 4 students. Both can take advantage from this. And uh, today I'll be solving uh, uh, questions from chapter ranking test under the uh, reasoning workbook. And this is useful for your IMO and NSO exams both as well as other Olympiads as well. Okay, so without further ado, let's begin the class. Okay, let's start with the exercise and uh, this is about ranking test. Okay, fine. Let's begin now. So you see question number one over here. Okay, dash is fourth to the right of second item from the left end in the given arrangement. So, uh, you know, when these kind of questions come, you have to see when they have a straightforward question, it's easy to answer, right? But sometimes you are, you might be a bit confused. So the best approach here in some complex questions where they are talking about left off, right off this arrangement and then there is a lot of, uh, you know, it's difficult to even read it. So the best strategy would be to start from the back end. So uh, I would suggest you try like this. That would be super easy for you. Okay. So let's say in this question, question number one. Okay. Let's discuss this first. So let's try to read from the back side. So if I just take this part left end in the given arrangement. So let's look at the left end here. They have already shown you this is the left end, right? So left end. So now they're talking about the left end. Okay. Now second item from the left end, isn't it? They have said second item from the left end. So what is the second item from the left end? So this is one and this is second item. So we got so second item from the left end in the given arrangement is equal to so this whole is equal to two from here to here this whole statement is equal to two right we got this now fourth to the if you read here fourth to the right of what two fourth to the right of two so what is right of two right of two is this side isn't it now fourth to the right of two so from two if you begin this will be one two three and four so this is the fourth to the right of the second item from the left end in the given arrangement so here for question number one the answer is d which is your robot okay now coming to question number two if bulb t and u are removed so let's remove it we remove this u and remove this t bulb okay so they are completely removed fine so if bulb T and U are removed from the given arrangement, then bulb dash is, which bulb is fifth from the right end. So look here, look very carefully here in the first question, they have left over here, they've written it, right? Here they have mentioned this is the left you have to consider. So this will become your right, fine. So now you have to look for the fifth from the right end so what is fifth from the right end from the right and this is the first okay let me write over here first second third so these two are already removed right so fourth and this is your fifth so the answer is v so what is the answer the option number d is your answer i hope it is all clear okay now let's do question number three if ice cream y and i okay yeah if ice cream y and ice cream cone s interchange so let's interchange it so y becomes your s and s becomes your y because they are both interchanged fine they have interchanged their position then ice cream cone dash is what third to the left of the ice cream cone R. So let's see the left. As I said, read from the back end in this case. Re so left of ice cream cone R. Where is R? So this is R. Left of R is this side. They are saying third to the left of R. So third from here would be 1. So this will be 1, 2 and 3. So ice cream S is the answer over here. Okay. So yeah, let me just show you ice cream S is option number B. Okay, simple. Now coming to so two, three is done. Let's go move ahead for question number four. How many balls are there in the right on the right of second ball from the left end? So if you see this is the right hand they have already mentioned. So this will be your left, right? So second ball from the left end. 
Okay, first see the second ball from the left hand. So every time you have such complex question where they're talking about right of the left of the this and that. So, you know, it's difficult to track back. So the best strategy would be to start tracking back from the end, read from the end, like bits and pieces, like take this piece, for example, take this particular part. Uh, let's say second ball from the left end. So what is second from ball from the left end? So this is the left. So this is the first from the second and this is the second from the left. So we got. So this is equal to actually what? Q. Second ball from the left end is Q. We know this part. Now you have to find how many balls are there on the right of Q. See if you read it. How many balls are there on the right of what? Q. We got this as Q, right? This part. This whole part is equal to Q, isn't it? So, how many balls are there on the right of Q? So, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, the answer here is option number C which is 7. Okay, now coming to fifth question. Gift dash is third to the right of the sixth gift from the right end so same way let's start read from the back side okay do like this so sixth gift from the right end what is the sixth from the right so this they have shown right so one two three four five and this is the sixth from so this is equal to r see we got this as r now third to the right of r what is the third to the right of R? Right of R would be somewhere this side, right? So third to the right of R. So this will be again your 1, 2 and 3. So here the answer is B. See, 1, 2 and 3. So answer is P, which is option number B. So 5 is P. Sixth, if candy V is removed from the given arrangement, so let's first remove candy V, just cut down, okay? Then candy dash is the third from the left end. So this is the left end because they have already done it right. So third from the left end, candy dash is third from the left end. So this is your first, this is your second, this is your third because we have removed V in the beginning itself, right? So this is your third. So the answer is Q. So, this is your answer. That means option number B is your answer. Okay, let's move to question number 7. J, V and Raju are standing in a line. V is standing between J and Raju. So, see, J is, this is J, this is Raju, then somewhere between V is standing. Okay. Hmm. Now, J is not the first. Okay, so if J is not the first, he is not the first. So who can come here? Raju can come here, right? In that case, J will be here because Veer is in the middle. Who is standing first in the line? So very simple. Because Veer is in the middle, so he can't be in the first. And they have already mentioned that J is not the first. So we cancel this and this. So the option is only possibility is your Raju. So the question uh, for seven, the answer is A. Okay. Yeah, so you can do question number eight yourself and uh, let's start solving this question number nine. For question number 8, uh, the answer would be B. So you can just uh, solve it. At least one question you do it by, all by yourself. And from uh, the other rest questions, I'll be solving. Okay, fine. So let's start with question number 9 now. So dash is third to the left of fifth can on, uh, on from the left end. So how do you see here? See such kind of question. Uh, fifth crayon from the left end so first you see the left and this is the left they have shown you right so fifth from the left from the left fifth so this is your one two three four and five it's z so fifth crayon from the left end is z right now third to the left of what z very simple because you got this as z so you know this is equal to z so third to the left of z now you're here Z. 
third to the left so you move here left of z so this is your from uh, from here if you you can't do it from here because this is you have to go third to the left so you do not consider z here so this will become one this will be a two and this is a three so the answer is t so where is the option number t you see the answer that is your answer so the answer is a that is i mean the option number a which is t now 10 if the pen e is removed from the given arrangement so let's first remove this pen okay and placed at the left end okay let's place it at the end let's make a see they've written this is right so this is your left and let's place this pen i'm just randomly drawing it which is what was the number e so we are placing it in the left end then which pen is third from the left end so let's start from here so this will be the first from the left second from the left and third from the left so the answer would be w which is your uh, option number c okay so 10 option is c perfect 11 if coconut j and k are interchanged so let's do it okay this k becomes j and j becomes k because they're interchanged so just interchange the positions their names okay then coconut dash is six from the right end so this they have shown this is your left so this is your right sixth from the right so one two three four five and a six so option the answer is k so it's option number d which is k fine 12 dash is second to the left of the sixth item from the left end so let's break into pieces like sixth item from the left end let's start reading from the back end sixth item from the left end so this is your right so this will be your left sixth from the left so one two three four five and six so this is your can so this is equal to your can this one which we found out okay which is a can now second to the left of what can so left of can would be this side right second to the left so you do not consider can because we're doing second to the left of can so we will not count can so this is your first and this is your second that is your burger so the answer is c which is burger now 13 if all the symbols are removed from the given arrangement then okay let's remove it first all the symbols so this is a symbol remove remove all the symbol remove all the symbol all are all others are letters so they are not symbols let's not remove them then dash is second to the right of m what is the right of m where is m m is over here now right of m will be because nothing has been mentioned so this should be the right and this should is the left when nothing is mentioned okay so right of m is this side isn't it now second to the right of m so this is your one this is your two so the answer is c 13 is d c i mean c is the answer but it's the option d okay now question number 14 let's quickly move ahead if watch x and y are interchanged uh, y interchange their position so x becomes your y and y becomes your x uh, x sorry yeah x then watch dash is fourth to the left of watch w now again read from the back left of watch w where is left of watch w this side if you notice carefully this is the left of w uh, please look over here okay left of w fourth to the left of w so this will be the first left of w is this so left of w will be somewhere this side so first second third and fourth so the answer is watch t so it is option number c okay so option number c is the uh, uh, answer for here okay we are done from here let's move to next slide fine Question number 15 yes if mug u is removed from the given arrangement so let's remove mug u we'll remove it and placed at the right end so let's place it since they have shown this as left so this is a right end so let's place it over here okay let me make a mug over here so what was that it is mug u which was removed and placed at the right end then which mug will be fifth from the right end so this is the right end so one two three 
four we can't do see if you can't do here because this is already removed so three is here then you have four and then five so this is very important when you cut it make sure that you do not count it again okay because it's already removed so the answer is i cup i so it is 15 b okay now 16 if if stone g is removed from the given arrangement where is stone g let's remove it okay then stone dash is third to the left of the second stone from the right end so such questions again you have to read from the back end so let's try to take this part okay let's take this part and solve go backwards it's now second stone from the right end so this is your left end and this is your right end what is the second from the right one and two that is your t so this is equal to t third to the left of what t left of t is this side third to the left of t is one since this is already cancelled we'll not consider it one two and three so the answer is e therefore it is 16 answer is option number a is the answer now 17 if b, fish b and d are removed so let's remove b and d b removed and d removed from the given arrangement then fish dash is six from the left end so this you see they have written this is the right end so this will be your left end always make sure that you have to uh, be very careful if they have mentioned it or not okay if they have mentioned this is right then take that as right only okay don't think that okay normally this is the left so don't assume it if they have mentioned it you have to follow according to the question so read it very carefully usually so these questions are all our one marks questions and they're a part of maths and science both okay now fine uh, let's not uh, deviate from this yes sixth from the left end it says sixth from the left end left is this so one two three do not consider this so four and five and this also do not consider and six so it is fish number h that is your option number b 17 is b now 18 kashi is shorter than aman okay but taller than raj so let's see if the so that says uh, Kashi is shorter than Aman. So Kashi, if Kashi is here, let's say. Okay. Then, like, if I go tall, why is like this? Okay. Taller ones go up. So if Kashi is shorter than Aman, that means Aman will be somewhere here on above. But taller than Raj. Who? Kashi is shorter than Aman, but taller than Raj. That means Raj is shorter than Kashi. Fine. Prince is the tallest. So tallest will come in the top. So Prince is the tallest. Okay. So who among the one is the shortest? See, you can see here Raj. So here the shortest and this is the tallest. Fine. So the answer is Raj. So 18 is D. 19 if helmet H and I are interchanged. So let's quickly interchange it. This becomes I. This becomes your H. Then helmet dash is fourth from the left end. So take this C, left is given. Fourth from the left, one, two, three, and four. Helmet H is the answer. Therefore, it's option number C. 19 is C. Now question number 20. If cheese, uh, second, yeah, yeah. If cheese T is removed from the given arrangement, then let's remove the T. We have removed it, okay? Then cheese dash is third to the left of the left of third cheese from the right end. So the same method I said, whenever you have such complex questions, do not get confused. Very simple strategy. Just take this part first. Third cheese from the right end. So they have shown this as right. So third from the right is one, two, three. So it's cheese number W. So this is equal to W, right? I mean, the third cheese from the right end is equal to W. Third to the left of W. See, third to the left of what? W. So, left of W will be this. Third would be 1, 2. This since it's cut, so 3. So, it is N. N is the answer. That is option number D. Fine. I hope it is clear for you. Let's move ahead. 
So if you have any doubts, you can uh, maybe pause and go back and check again. Yeah, question number 20. So you have, this is the last slide. And after that, we are done for this chapter 21. Tie dash is third to the th third to the left of six tie from the left end in the given arrangement. Okay, so how do you do it? Same method. You, let's just do that. Left end in the given arrangement. So this is the left. I've already shown it. So you have to look from here. Six tie from the left end. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So it is Z. Third to the left of what this is already Z. The six tie from the left end in the given end is Z, right? So third to the left of Z. Now left of Z would be what? This is the left of Z, right? This side. So third to the left of Z. So one, two, and three. So here the answer is P. Okay. Yeah. So where is option number P? Here. A. 21A is the answer. Okay. Now 22. Bicycle dash is fifth to the left of second bicycle from the right end. The same way. Let's do it here. Second bicycle from the right end. So this is the right. So, so this is the one. This is the two. That is your N. So this is equal to N. Now fifth to the left of N. Left of N is this side, fifth to the left. So this is one, two, three, four, and five. So it's U. So U is the answer. So it's option number B. 22 is B. Now 23, if mushroom Y and S are interchanged. So let's just quickly interchange it. So Y becomes S, S becomes Y. Then mushroom dash is fourth from the right end. So this is the left they've already mentioned. So this will be your right end. Fine. So dash is fourth from the right. So one, two, three, and four. So Y is the answer over here. So this is option number C. So 23 is C. 24. If all circles are removed from the given arrangement. Okay, so let's just quickly remove all the circles. Circle, any other circle. Okay, <clears throat> then which of the following figures third to the left of cube? Okay, where is the cube? Cube is over here, right? So third to the left of cube. Let's see the left of cube first. So this is the left of cube. This is right is shown. This is the left. So left of cube is this one, right? This is the left of cube. Now third to the left, so one, two, and three, right? Because this is already cancelled. So the answer is your rectangle. That is option number 24. Option is B, okay? Now 25, if camera P and I are removed from the given arrangement, so let's quickly remove P and I. Then which camera is third to the left or first camera from the right end so let's break apart into pieces from the back end so first camera from the right end so this is your left they have mentioned so this is your right so which is the first camera from the right end so it is l so this is equal to l first camera from the right end is what l now left of l <clears throat> so this is the left of l right third to the left of l so this two you cannot consider because these two are already removed, right? So third, so one, two, and three. So it is A. So 25, option number B, which is your answer, A. Okay, so this is all for this video. Yeah, this was the last question. Okay. That's all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye. Take care.